this is general mathematics quarter one module 14 domain range of inverse function okay we will answer but before we will proceed don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel okay so we have number one what do you call this, to the set of all allowable values of the independent variable the answer is domain number two which of the following is not allowed as the value of the independent variable where if the function is a fraction number two is irrational number what is the domain and range of the function f of x equals x minus 5 the domain and range for this because this is linear function is a set of real numbers okay here is it set of real numbers okay now and this is letter d okay number four what is the inverse of f of x equals 3x plus 6 so to get the inverse all you have to do is to change f of x into y so that is equal to y equals 3x plus 6 then interchange the position of x and y so y becomes x and x becomes y then solve for the value of y then you have to transpose positive 6 to the right left side that equals to negative 6 so x minus 6 equals 3y then divide both side by 3 divide both side by 3 so our inverse of function of x equals x minus 6 over 3 okay and it is letter letter c which of the following pairs of function is not the inverse of each other it's letter a so this is not the inverse of each other okay now next number 6 to 10 consider the function f of x equals 3 over x plus 1 what is the domain of the function so to get the domain of this can you will equate x plus 1 into 0 then x equals negative 1 so this is our vertical asymptote and the domain is a set of x such that x should not be equal to negative 1 and what is the range of the function since uh, this is a rational function and the degree of the numerator is great is lesser one lesser than the degree of the denominator so therefore its horizontal asymptote is zero or the x-axis so therefore our range is set to y such that y is not equal to zero okay next what is the inverse of the function so the inverse of the function previously is f of x equals 3 over x plus 1 so change f of x into y y is equal to 3 over x plus 1 so x is equal to now interchange x and y y becomes x and x becomes y so x is equal to 3 over y plus 1 solve for the value of y cross product so that's x times quantity x plus 1 equals 3 now we have x times y x y x times 1 that's x now afterwards equals 3 then factored out x times x plus 1 is equal to 3 then divided by x now so divided by x divided by x so y plus 1 equals 3 over x and uh, transpose 1 to the right side that becomes f uh, equals 3x minus 1 so inverse of the function is 3 minus x over x okay what is the domain of the function of the inverse function so the domain of the inverse function is the range of the original function so the domain of this the domain of this is the range of this the range of this is zero so so the domain of this is set of x's that x is not equal to zero okay now what is the range of the inverse functions in the inverse function the range of this is uh since this numerator has a degree of one and the numerator has a degree of one they have equal degrees therefore it's uh range is based on its horizontal asymptote this is negative 1 divided by 1 that's negative 1 so our horizontal asymptote here is negative 1 so therefore our range is set to y such that y is not equal to negative 1 okay number 11 to 15 for numbers 11 to 15 consider the following function x squared plus 2 so what is the domain of the function the domain of the function is a set of real numbers a set of x that x is an element of real numbers it's letter D. What is the range of the function? Now, actually, to find the range of the function, it's positive 2. Because the graph of f, this means that the graph of x squared uh, moves or shifted 2 units up. So, therefore, it opens upward. So, we will base our ra range in positive 2. But when we are to solve this, this is k is equal to 4ac minus b squared over 4a, where a is 1, b is 0, c is 2. 
So substitute further, so the answer is 2. So our range is a set of y such that y is, should be greater than or equal to 2. 13. What is the inverse of the function? So our given function is function of x equal to x squared plus 2. This has no inverse since this function is not 1 to 1. So to prove that this, this is not 1 to 1, so we will let x be negative 2 and positive 2. When our x is negative 2 and positive 2, we have the same value of y, which is 6 and 6. So the ordered pair is negative 2 and 6 and 2 and 6. So they have the same range. So therefore, this function is not 1 to 1. So therefore, this has no inverse. For our, uh, number 14, what is the domain of the inverse? No answer because there is no inverse for this function. What is the range? No answer because there is no inverse. Okay, what's new? Complete the table for its given function. So this is x, this is f of x. So this is our function equals 5x plus 20. When our x is negative 2, 0, 2, 4, and 6, here is it. When our x is negative 2, so this is 5 times negative, that's negative 10 plus 20, that's 10. 5, 5 times 0, the 0 plus 20 is 20. 5 times 2, that's 10 plus 20 is 30. It's 4. 5 times 4, 20 plus 20 is 40. 6, 6 5 times 6, 30 plus 20 is 50. Okay. And the second, number 2, is x equals negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, and 10. So this is the function. When our x is negative 30, that's negative 30 divided by 5, that's negative 6 plus 4, it's negative 2. So negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 plus 4 is equal to 2. 0, this is 0, 0 plus 4 equals 4. If this is 10, 10 divided by 5, that's 2 plus 4 equals 6. Okay, what's more? Practice find the inverse of f, determine the domain and range of its resulting inverse function. Write the answers inside the box provided. Okay, so we will find the inverse of this. All you have to do is to check it change f of x into y so y equals 2x minus 1 then interchange x and y y becomes x and x becomes y so x equals 2y minus 1 solve for y transpose that becomes x plus 1 equals 2y divided by 2 divided by 2 that's y equals x plus 1 over 2 on inverse so the inverse of this is equal to x plus 1 over 2 now what is the domain of our inverse so the domain is a set of real numbers. The range is a set of real numbers because this is actually a linear function. Okay, number two, y equals 5x plus 2. Then change f of x into y because y equals 5x plus 2. Then change y into x, then x into y. So that, that is x plus 5y plus 2. Then sub, solve for the value of y. So transpose that becomes x minus 2. Then 5y here. Divided by 5, divide by 5, so therefore y equals x minus 2 over 5. So the inverse of the given function y equals 5x plus 2 is equal to x minus 2 over 5. When we are to find the domain of range, uh, domain and range, so the domain and range of this is a set of real numbers. Okay, number 3, function of x for x plus 2 over 5. So change f of x into y, y equals 5x plus 2 over 5, so x equal to change y into x then x into y so x is equal to y plus 2 over 5 then cross product that's 5x equals y plus 2 now transpose 2 to the right to the left side that becomes negative 2 so y equals 5x minus 2 in inverse so this inverse this is the inverse of this one okay so the domain is a set of real numbers still because these are linear function okay number four f of x equal to x squared plus 2 we will find its inverse and domain and range. Now, this function has no inverse since f of x equal to x squared plus 2 is not 1 to 1. So, to prove that this is not 1 to 1, so when our x is negative 3 and positive 3, so our value of the function is 11 and here is 11. So, this is not 1 to 1 because in two values of x, there is a single value of y. So, 11, 11. So, this is not 1 to 1. So, therefore, we will not proceed to find its inverse because this has no inverse. Okay, number 5, f of x equal to square root of 1 plus x. Now, this function has inverse. Okay, now, change f of x into y is equal to square root of 1 plus x. Since this function is 1 to 1, so we are to interchange x and 
y so y becomes x and x becomes y so this is x equals to square root of 1 plus y so x squared is equal to okay now extract the radical sign by putting by squaring both sides so this is square this is square therefore this is x squared is equal to uh, cancel radical so x squared equals to 1 plus y so x squared minus y equals y so transpose 1 to the left side that becomes negative 1 so y or the inverse of this function is x squared minus 1 okay now the domain of this should be the range of this so the range of this is uh, range of this is from 0 to positive infinity so therefore the domain is a set of x such that x is greater than or equal to 0 okay and the range is set of y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 1 okay next number okay explore the and think wisely. Now, temperatures are normally expressed in degrees Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. A temperature reading expressed in degrees Celsius can be converted to degree Fahrenheit and vice versa. Determine the function that expresses a given tem temperature in degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So all you have to do is to find out the, the formula of Fahrenheit. So this is the formula of Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius plus 32. Determine a function C that expresses the given temperature in degree celsius to degree fahrenheit so degree celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times quantity f minus 32 okay let us see be uh, verify if the functions f and c are inverse function solution now this is a matter of uh, substituting c by f and f by c so the formula of the Fahrenheit is equal to F equals 9 over 5 times degree Celsius plus 32. Now, degree Celsius, the formula is 5 over 9 times quantity F minus 32. All you have to do is to copy out 9 over 5 here. And degree Celsius formula, you write here. So, this is the formula of degree Celsius. This one plus 32. Now, we could cancel out 9, cancel out 5. Then F minus 32 plus 32. The answer is F. Okay, C of F equals, okay, this is the formula of Celsius, 5 over 9 times quantity F minus 32. Uh, substitute, substitute F by its formula. So, F here is 9 over 5 times degree Celsius plus 32. So, that would be copy 5 over 9 times the formula for F, which is 9 over 5 times degree Celsius plus 32 here, plus 32, minus 32. Okay, now... So, this would be 5 over 9 times quantity 9 over 5c plus 32. So, 32 minus 32 then is 0. This is 0. Now, 5 over 9 times 9 over 5c. Cancel, 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 you see. And the domain is a set of real numbers and the range is a set of real numbers. Okay, number 2. The formula of S equals n minus 2 times 180 gives the sum of the measures of the, of the angles of n-sided polygon where n is the input and s is the output. Solve the formula for n so that s becomes the input and n becomes the output. Now, to solve the formula of n, so s equals quantity n minus 2 times 180. So, we will divide both side by 180, divide both side by 180, so s equals s over 180 is equal to n minus 2, they transpose negative 2 to the left side that becomes s over 180 plus 2 equals n so this is the formula of n okay next write the formula in a as the inverse of f of x equals x minus 2 times 180 degrees so the formula is s is equal to n minus 2 times 180 now to get its inverse you interchange its variable so s becomes n and n becomes s that is n equals quantity s minus 2 times 180 then divide both sides by 180 180 then that becomes s minus 2 equals n over 180 transpose negative 2 to the left side that becomes plus 2 so s is equal to n over 180 plus 2 then the inverse okay the inverse of this is equal to n over 180 plus 2 